Hey everyone, this is Tony Beers for Toxic Pop News. In this episode, we will be reacting to Hasbro's Star Wars Black Series reveals from New York Toy Fair 2018. First, we will be looking at the six inch figures from the Solo movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I won't be picking up these figures until I see it and I think it's good. First up is Han himself. This figure looks good. It's a nice likeness to the actor. Unfortunately, the actor doesn't look much like Harrison Ford in my opinion. He just looks like a guy in Han Solo cosplay to me. But if he's good in the movie, I might buy the figure. Next is Lando Calrissian. The figure looks good. He looks like a young Lando. He still has a cape. I'm not sure about the hair though. It kind of reminds me of Mr. Glass from Unbreakable. I like that they kind of reverse the colors in the cape and the shirt. The scarf reminds me of the 80s piano key tie. Next is the Woody Harrelson character, Tobias Beckett, and it looks a lot like Woody Harrelson. Except for the hair, of course. <laughs> Next is Kira. Again, I have no idea who this character is, but the figure looks good. Next is this range trooper. It's kind of cool, and they actually have fur on his collar. But with the heavy coat and clumbersome boots, it doesn't look very practical. Again, it depends on if I like them in the movie or not. Next from the original trilogy is Zuckus. I've never really liked the look of this bounty hunter, so I can skip it. But for the bounty hunter fans, he's a must get to complete your bounty hunter setup. Next is this Glamorian guard. This figure looks great. He has actual furry undies instead of being sculpted, and he also has an articulated jaw. This one I might pick up. Next is this dirty stormtrooper. You can't have too many stormtroopers. Lastly, for the original trilogy is Hoth Leia. She looks to be the best Leia we've had yet. She is the standout figure in this whole presentation, in my opinion. This is a must get. Next from the current trilogy is Porgs. They come in a two pack. Yay, Porgs. I can't contain my excitement. Next, we have Holdo. I hate this character, so I'll skip on her. Next from the Star Wars animated series is the Clone Commander Wolf. I'm not a fan of the animated series, so he's a pass for me. Next is this Astromech 3-pack. I'm only interested in R2, so I'll probably pass on this one. Just to know, they did show off these highly articulated 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. They're calling them the Vintage Collection. I'm not going to go over all of them. They have figures from all eras of Star Wars and they all look good. I was even confused to which were three and three quarter inch figures and which were six inch figures. From the pictures it's hard to tell what scale they are. And at this size, unlike the six inch, they can make more vehicles for them. Speaking of vehicles, Hasbro is crowdfunding a production of a three and three quarter inch scale version of Jabba's sail barge. If this is made, it will be four feet long and cost $500. I'll never have enough room or money for this, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm on the fence with these vintage collection figures. I'm focusing more on 6 inch figures for right now, so I may or might not pick them up. So that's it for our reaction to Hasbro's Star Wars reveals at the New York Toy Fair 2018. Tell us what you think of these figures. Which one was your favorite? Which one will you pass on? Which of the figures do you want them to reveal next? That's it for our coverage of the New York Toy Fair 2018. I'm beers thanks for watching and i'll see you next time this video is sponsored by the crazy kings of toys check them out for all your toy needs and find out why they are so crazy find them at ebay brick link and facebook links are in the description for more toxic pop visit our website at toxicpop1.wixsite.com slash toxic pop email us at toxicpop1 at gmail.com and check us out on facebook at facebook.com slash toxic pop1 and instagram at instagram.com slash we are toxic pop links are in the description